Welcome to a new video. Today we are going to do a little bit of design review and try to do a live update as much as possible from the browser. So here on our over our website, if you scroll down a little bit, there comes a section called review your design. So what it does is if you click on it, it'll give you a form where it, the only mandatory field is the link to the design file or web page that can be used to send something for a review. So the other day I came across a very informative web, website, but my eye is stuck to how the design could be improved with some slight tweaks. So let's try to give that a shot. This is the website that I came across. It's called Payments Domain. It's full of a lot of useful information about payments, different payment systems. So if you're interested in such kind of knowledge, this is a very good site that I can recommend for you. So it looks like this has been built with WordPress. So if you just check out the source, we would be able to see some things like WP content plugins. So this is a website which is built on top of WordPress and its themes, but not. So first, let's start from the header. So I think we can improve it here go to the header what you're gonna do is apply a background color the color picker i'll use this color so that the entire header matches this background of this logo now we need the navigation bar to stand out a little bit so we come down to this column the container so it, okay we will pick this nav element you see it has a background color we'll just override that background color can we just the color picker, pick this color, and we will tone it down. Or we can do something, we can make it stand out. That's what we're trying to do. So let me make it a bit darker. Because if we go lighter, the text is in white color, so it might not be legible. So I'm going a bit darker, okay. Then you notice that these icons, these fab icons, they should be white. So, the, yeah, they all sit inside this div. And how do they get the colors? They get a color from this value. So let's see if we can fix that. Get fixed because it's getting overridden here. Okay, that's that is getting our turn. So we'll come here. We will the color white. Of course, we have to spell it as white. Now this icon is in white color. So we do the same here. The 
this icon as well. And coming to these this input box it has an input box and another div for button so what i want to do is to apply a corner radius border radius border radius of now that's too much so I'll probably try 1M the left okay this looks good so the middle two are zero, which would be corresponding to top right and the bottom right. Now we'll pick this guy where we're going to apply order radius of zero, one M, one M and zero, which is not working. Let's see why? Hmm. I think it is getting applied from somewhere else. Invalid property, right? button okay i will leave that for now we will work on other pieces so here this main article here it is uh, center aligned and it is not matching up with this the entire page there's one margin here so this piece should actually extend all the way to the left. See, there's a slight background color, which I cannot find today. So where is this? Okay, there's a padding. Yep, I will remove this padding. Text center. So text center so you remove this text center property gets a bit wonky and we also see it is restricted by width no it's with 100 is fine post so this is the row margin bottom margin bottom so pg gray with 100 float left Let's see if that can be nothing's happening blog details trying to find out where this is coming from this, this entire div has a text okay text align left 
this thing. Text align there. And still, this has some padding. Okay, so here it has a width of 80. Margin for bottom, margin left, right, auto okay, to remove this width property. I really take the entire width available. So, this is looking better, I think. What we also need to do is to increase the font size by. You want to also while we're here, I want to do the body line height of one point two M. Thing has a margin bottom, margin six. What are we going to do with this section? this text center okay it comes all the way here I think that is fine but now since we increased the font size of the body we have to increase the font size for the title this 15.6 it looks like this is 20 Something like that, maybe. Color, I think we can pick it from the header, which would be the kind of like the theme color. And similarly, we can increase the font size for these elements. And probably contain this line to start from here instead of all the way from here and other things maybe some of these links can be moved to sublinks or not and i think that is all we can about how quickly we can do some change so if you need to see more design reviews or tweaks, just give a shout out through this form and we'll catch you on the next video.